Freon flashing in the vapor here. Liquid down here. Gas, pulling off gas here. So what's happening is that phase change here. It's cold. So we got water condensing out of the air actually. Got this on top of the unit so that it will uh, help it put more vapor in the unit. As I approach full charge, I'm getting less and less bubbles. This has got a, a expansion valve, full system, no bubbles. Occasional beeps, partial fill, continuous. What that's doing is it's got an ultras. These two are ultrasonic. It's sending a signal between these two. If you clamp the two clamps solidly together. Uh, without hooking on the liquid line, it'll sit there and beep once a second. So I may have just hit it. Once per second. I go up here. I'm going to turn both off, suction side off. High side's been off too. We've got about a 45, 75 psi, about 45 degree equivalent. The high side here is about 220, about 109, say. Amps going up to 22. It's around 22 to 23 when it's got a full charge. And that's on the three phase system. I've switched over to this other phase. But again, that's a wildcat phase is there. This is a little one here. This particular machine's got a expansion valve, so this should be solid liquid here. My testo, what you do is you're measuring the temperature here on these two. That's a little bit more accurate way to do it. This instrument works fairly well too. I've used this for, had this for 20 years. What I'm doing in here, I'm just making sure this has got a solid slug, slug of liquid in the, in the uh, liquid line. This is the high side. High side is after the compressor, after it's gone through all these coils, this is liquid. It's going up into the expansion valve, and this is the return suction. I don't want to overcharge this, so I'm going to stop this here. 